Yo, what is up YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be going over Max Array Sum on HackerRank. It's a medium dynamic programming problem. Um, it's in the interview Java section. So I'll be doing that. I started a Slack channel where I post leak code, chan or leak code problems every day and we discuss them and solve them. So the invite link to that is in the description. And if you guys haven't seen my videos yet, check out my channel, subscribe. I post these videos every weekday and now let's get to it. Okay, so I know I haven't done a hacker rink problem in a while. I've been fo focusing on leap code, but uh, I figured I'd switch it up because I have had an interview question from hacker rink. So max array sum, given an array of integers, find the subset of non-adjacent elements with the maximum sum. Calculate the sum of that subset. Um, so for example, here's the array. We have to, the possible subsets, so they can't be next to each other. So we have negative two, three, five, negative two and three we're gonna have negative two and five i believe yeah right here um oh and you can have negative two and four and negative four um so there's a whole bunch of subsets so this is like the uh if we were going to do it by brute force we would just um find all the subsets and then find the sum so that's like super slow it's two to the n um complexity because we're um we have four, um, two to the five, so there's that many combinations. Um, so our maximum subsets, so the max is eight. So um, I'm gonna show you guys two ways to do this. Um, so, so the reason I don't like hacker rank is because these their descriptions are so long. Anyways, so let's go to the whiteboard. Um, I'm gonna show you guys two ways. So basically, uh, the logic behind it is you're gonna use dynamic programming. So we're going to say we have this is our example. Um, so we're just gonna like go through and compare them. We're gonna use dynamic programming. I hope you guys know what dynamic programming is. Um, you basically break the problem into subsets uh, like memoization and then you can refer to that subset pro sub problem to um, shorten like the uh, your calculations basically so I'll show you what you mean so there's two ways we can solve this we can use uh, DP we can create a new array so that's going to be O of n space complexity or we could do it in place where we just replace the numbers in here um, the problem doesn't specify that we can't do that, so that is possible. So I'm going to do both for you guys. Let's do the DP one first. So um, we're going to go along. Um, <clears throat> so array of, we're going to check the first index. The max sum here is just three. So that's, we're just going to write that. So array of zero, or DP, sorry, DP of zero equals array of zero. And uh, DP of one is going to be, well, actually, it's a, it's a, it could be a negative number. So you have to do math dot max zero or array zero. Um, we have to do zero here because uh, uh, a non-existent subset, the sum is zero, which is better than a um, negative number. So DP of one is going to be, um, math dot max dp zero or array one so those are like the two like um i don't know if you'd call them base cases edge cases um so those are the first two so for the rest we can just do a loop we're going to loop through so I'm, I'm not going to write the loop out we're going to loop through the array but i is going to be at two because we already did the first two and um so dp of i is going to be it's going to be um math dot max of we're going to so this one is seven so we want to put in uh figure out the sum the max sum for that one so we're basically like put um creating sub problems and storing them in our dp array um, so the math dot max of dp whoops dp i minus one or 
I'm running out of space. It's going to be um, array i because we still have to refer to the four up here. Um, so that's why we're using array still. And then plus, um, and we want to go back. It can't be in a row, so we're going to go back here and add that to it. So we're going to get, um, that's going to be dp. Well, actually, I'm sorry. We're going to check this one. It's still the same number because it's the first. But um, so dp i minus 2. So we're going to do that. And then, um, so that's basically it. If we were going to do it in place, we would just replace these with array. I mean, just replace all the DP with array. So you would just um, update this as it goes. This would be 7. Um, 7 plus 6 would be 13. And um, 5 plus 7 would be 12. So we're, we're actually going to return um, that one. So, um, well, actually, no. This would be uh, 13 because we have the, we're checking um, if it's the previous one is bigger than the, the, the current one and the sum of the this one. So that was incorrect there. Hopefully that makes sense on the whiteboard. So let's just code it out now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I want to grab, okay, if it's checking the, the video fits, not blocking. Okay, so let's do our base cases real quick. So if length, oops, equals zero, return zero. If length equals one, we're just gonna return array one. Okay, so let's create our DP array. I'm gonna show you guys the DP or the uh, O of n space complexity first. They're not much different. O int dp equals new int length. Okay, so um, dp of zero equals math dot max. Oops, of zero or um, array zero. So this is what we just wrote on the whiteboard. So dp of one equals math dot max of dp zero or um, array one. So technically, well, I don't know. Technically, subjectively, um, you could say that the if we didn't create a new dp array, it would be easier because everything would just be. Um, array we wouldn't have to keep like switching them like this but I'll show you guys that one after this because people have asked in my other videos to do um, other solutions like from uh, higher time complexity to lower so I'm gonna start doing that as long as the videos aren't too long I'm already at eight minutes so hopefully this doesn't go over ten so <clears throat> DP of i equals um let me check my whiteboard um so we have i should just know this off the top of my head i don't even know why i had to check so we're going to do dp of um math.max dp i minus one or it's going to be array i plus dp i minus two so I hope you guys understand why we're doing that. We're basically storing the previous possible max sum in the DP array, and then we're referred, for referring to it later so we don't have to like calculate it for every subset. We just save like a lot of time. We're actually just, this is just O of N compared to um, two raised to the N power for brute force. And <clears throat> so then I believe we just want to return, um, yeah, we're just returning dp of length minus one because it's zero indexed and that should work i just want to yeah
and it's taking okay cool so it worked so let's go i'm going to show you guys we're just really easy you guys should be able to figure this out if we just remove this we can do it in place we don't need extra space so um array zero array one and um right array i so um we can do this because it doesn't say we can't in the description other problems might say you can't do this or there might be some something that would create a incorrect answer but not in this case so um yeah we just say space so this one's actually o of one space complexity as opposed to o of n so um oh i left one somewhere oh so technically this one's better um basically the same thing i mean this one's a little simpler and it's has over one's base complexity so why not use this one but uh people might want to ask for i don't know if they a new dynamic programming array it depends so if you guys like this video if you find it helpful let me know if you guys have any questions leave comments i like conversating with you guys um and if you like the video hit that like button it helps a lot and i'll see you guys in the next video